Sounds app on your smart speaker. Play BBC Radio Guernsey. And on your radio. The sound of Guernsey is BBC Radio Guernsey. We all know how hard ambulance crews work here and further afield, of course, don't we? And that's really been highlighted during the COVID crisis. But how much thanks do they get? Probably not as much as they deserve, to be honest. We know they've been putting themselves at risk during lockdown. And as Guernsey's enjoyed more freedoms, they've been exceptionally busy, responding to a whole range of emergencies week in, week out. But now the team in Guernsey has had a, a special thank you from two boys in Norfolk. Uh, why? Well, let's find out. Mum Lisa is on the line. Mo morning to you, Lisa. Morning to you, Lisa. Good morning. Um, tell us what your boys have been doing. Um, it sounds pretty incredible. Maybe you can explain it in, in your words and then we'll, we'll go from there. I think we also have Jim from the ambulance who we'll bring in shortly. But, but tell us all, Lisa. Okay. Um, last year, a lady called Tracy from Leicester set up a group on Facebook called Hit the Ambulance Gamers. Um, our family were already quite sort of keen on hitting the ambulance with random acts of kindness since Toby had five ambulance uh, trips in 2018 because he has epilepsy and various other medical conditions so this group you know we saw this and we thought wow this is great you know this will really help us and so there's now 74,000 members in the group I don't think Tracy really expected that but it's doing really well um, basically despite the title hit the ambulance you don't actually hit the ambulance physically you leave treats letters of appreciation, drawings by your children or yourself if you're feeling creative and various bits and pieces on the ambulance um, door handle to sort of show appreciation. Well, we've been doing that quite a lot, but due to the lockdown, see, it's been harder to actually do. So I come up with a suggestion to Tommy, who's four, and Toby, who's three, to send letters and drawings out. It initially started with just our local ambulance trust which is east of england ambulance trust and then tommy he came up with the idea of sending 999 obviously 999 being appropriate and it just sort of went from there we've sent it 999 now going sort of all around the uk i think there was three in guernsey Yes, and your boys are just three and four years old. I mean, that's um, it's great. To hear. What, what kind of reaction have they been getting? A lot. We didn't put our address on it because we we saw it as you know we're not doing this for anything in return. You know, we're not expecting anything back. It would be nice to see sort of pictures on the Facebook group of you know people with their letters, which has really been busy. We've seen so many appear and like every day. They've had people contact me via their like, ambulance emails. I don't know if that's the correct word. Um, and ask for our address, and they've been sending replies and certificates and letters, which the boys have really loved. You know, they've sort of seen it as, well, why are they sending things to us? They're the superheroes, and so that's to show their appreciation. So they now have a little folder with it all in. So something to keep, something to look back on, something to probably show their teachers when they go back to school as we're in lockdown here and we're currently doing home learning. Mm. Um, you've told that so well for us. Thank you um, for setting out your uh, your project and what your youngsters have been up to. I just want to bring in Jim Cathcart from Guernsey's Emergency Ambulance Service. Hi, Jim. Did, did this all come out of the blue for you? Yeah, morning, Oscar. Yeah, it was a real surprise and, and I have to say an absolute delight as well. Um, so first of all, I want to say a huge thank you to, to Toby and Tommy and their mum as well um, for, for putting smiles on the faces of not just the ambulance crews in Guernsey, but ambulance crews up and down um, the UK. Um, it, was, it was a lovely letter, lovely gesture to receive. Um, the reaction amongst the staff there, maybe you can tell us about it, because it, it, it sounds like this kind of thing, I mean, yes, here in Guernsey, but uh, across the UK as well, uh, will be a bit of a, a boost for morale as well. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we, 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 we um, as an ambulance service in, in Guernsey, receive an awful lot of support from, from Islanders. I think um, the public locally have a great affection for St John and for the emergency ambulance service um, and and we see that you know we get lots of, of, of letters um, of appreciation from 
from patients and their and their families. Um, but to get something, you know, from these two lads in the UK who have set out on this huge challenge to to try and you know say thank you and 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 send their letters and drawings to every ambulance station up and down uh, the country was was brilliant. I mean, it really has put smiles on on people's um, people's faces. Um, you know, I, I know that these random acts of kindness are, are really appreciated. I think the crews in the UK, particularly at the moment, are working really hard in, well, what we all know are unprecedented times and, and challenging times as well. So it'll make a huge difference to, to their morale and was, you know, really appreciated by the crews in Guernsey as well. And have you had a chance to say thanks to the boys? Not directly. Um, I, I spoke to their mum briefly uh, briefly yesterday. Um, we've actually um, shared a picture of, of um, uh, our deputy chief ambulance officer and some of the uh, ambulance crews uh, with the letter and with the picture um, on our Facebook page. Um, and I, I mean, I was aware that there was a, this, this national Facebook page that hit the ambulance page, which I was aware of, but didn't really know much about. But if you look at that page, um, you know, there are all sorts of pictures from from um, across the UK where members of the public over the last um, few months have been hitting the ambulance, in inverted commas, you know, by giving these these, these gifts and things. Um, so, you know, it, it's great to see that. And I think also we've, we've um, you know, um, been able to sort of say thank you to the to, to the children via via our Facebook page and uh, and via our social media as well, which I'm sure the mum will pass on to them. Yeah. Um, Lisa, are your boys there? Or, or if not, maybe you can pass on. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Um, they're both sort of asleep at the moment. I have got a little pre-recorded message, though, which um, Toby done for Tracy, who started the ambulance group. I don't know if that's something you'd like to hear. Oh, right. Yes. Um, how are we going to do that? Um, do you have it there with you? Um, he calls her Nino Lady every time she calls me on the phone to discuss any ideas and plans from the group. He always says, hello, Nino Lady. And I think she's quite proud of that title. Are you going to press play for us, Lisa, or are we going to play it over here? Apologies, because the line here, I can't, um, I can't have a direct conversation with you without f fading your fader up, as it were, because my voice is going to come back at me. But maybe you can um, tell us if you're going to play it or if we are. That is wonderful. Um, Lisa, last thought, um, because you've heard um, Jim and you've no doubt seen other messages on the Facebook page and, uh, and, and things about really what it's meaning and these acts of kindness and, and reaching the, the staff on the ground. Um, you must be quite a proud mum. So I really did. I thought they'd get bored, to be honest. I thought, you know, they'd colour in a few pictures and they'd see sort of like, you know, that's enough now. But they're just continuing and continue. They've started colouring them in with sort of rainbow colours now to send to other people, hospitals, carers, retail staff. So I don't think this is going to be sort of something that ends anytime soon, if ever. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And to you, Jim, appreciate that. And all the best for your ongoing work here in Guernsey. And well done to the boys who are having a well-deserved lie-in, no doubt, this morning. What a great idea. Um, thanks to you both, Mum Lisa and, of course, Jim Cathcart from the Emergency Ambulance Service. Random acts of kindness. Uh, one of the great things to have come out of the last year. And have you at home be getting involved? You can let us know this morning, please do. And a, a lovely little <laughs> message at the end there from uh, Lisa uh, and her two.